It was an interesting exercise this year because we had good talent, very committed players, um, good leadership, and and unlike some past years where we've sort of pushed it over the edge a couple of times, I think there were times when we didn't quite push it over the edge, and I think that's where this team will have an opportunity to grow next year. Um, a lot of a lot of really good performances, outstanding performances, but we didn't quite all get the team working on six cylinders at the same time. Um, we struggled a little bit with our doubles. I think they'll be better next year. Um, we uh, and our singles, we came very close. We actually came from behind, winning a lot of a lot of uh, four matches after we lost a doubles point. But still, when it came time to play those teams that were kind of looking eye to eye, maybe a little upwards. Didn't quite, didn't quite do it. So that's the challenge. I think that's what everybody left with uh, after our team meeting. Said, "What's next? Well, that's next." We knew that we were going to lose some real experience, and you can put those freshmen and sophomores six, eight months ahead in their experience because all summer now they're going to be thinking about this is what it felt like to be under that pressure. This is what it felt like when my legs got heavy. This is, this is why I'm running when I'm doing that when I feel like saying no. And so um, that was an investment in the future. And the kids did great. Uh, we got all three. Um, three of our freshmen got to start, two of them in doubles. Um, and they had been improving in their singles all along and were pushing the guys regularly. So, um, so it was really a, a conscious investment for the future. And I think these guys now have a sort of bit between their teeth and they're they're kind of ready to go and show themselves. And so I think even the guys that, that sophomores will, will have to earn their spots next year and, and uh, the freshmen, I don't think, are going to back down. <laughs> so it's fun. It's a, and, and they're so good with each other as far as wanting each other to succeed, but they, uh, they keep that healthy balance. It's interesting, these things go back for longer periods, the, the ripples from the, the uh, captaincy of Davis Mangum and Alastair Felton four years ago when these guys were, were graduating, were, seat, were freshmen. And somehow they helped us turn around a culture which had gotten just a little bit sloppy. And they turned it around and Dennis and um, Alex and Sean and all those people were the recipients of that. So they gave it this year. And I have every confidence in the world that the freshmen and the sophomores will come in and shoulder that burden now. It's not a burden, it's a, it's a lovely responsibility, but it's a responsibility. So I, I, I'm very bullish on the future, and, uh, and we miss those guys, but it's the way they say in England, you know, the king's dead, long live the king.